Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today, we are going to show you how to cook this dish known as Mirabus. So let's start cooking. We will begin by making the stock for the Mirabus. Traditionally, beef stock is being used, but a lot of us don't take beef, so I'm going to change it to chicken stock. Inside this pot, I have two liters of water, six pieces of chicken bones, a total of around 550 grams. I've blanched them already, just put them in. A few slices of ginger, five cloves of garlic, lightly smashed. I'm using a pressure cooker here, so I'm going to boil this for 45 minutes. If you're using a normal pot at home, you can do this for one hour, 15 minutes, and add a little bit more water because it will evaporate. So while this is cooking, we will steam the sweet potatoes. We will steam the sweet potatoes these 650 grams of sweet potatoes, I've cut them into smaller pieces so they will be soft pretty fast. So this will take between 20 to 30 minutes depending on how thick your sweet potatoes is. Make sure that you steam them until they are soft. So we'll see you back in a while. Now I'll be slicing shallots to make crispy shallots, as well as mixing up all the spices and blending them together to make a rumpa paste. So we'll start by making the shallots first. I'm using around 15 shallots. You can use as much or as little as you want to because these are just condiments. So I'm just going to put them into my processor over here. I'm just going to stop this. And it's done. Very simple. This is how it looks like. So I'm going to fry this in a while. Now we're going to make the rumpa paste. 8 grams of ginger. 8 grams of galanga or blue ginger. 2 and half pieces of red onions or Indian onions just roughly chop them up and put them in we're going to mix all of them together to form a paste 50 grams of dried shrimps or heavy I've soaked this in water for about 15 minutes just to soften them 50 grams of anchovies wash and rinse 60 grams of tau jing or fermented soya bean 5 tablespoons of curry powder this is meat curry powder Pour everything in. Five pieces of lemongrass, only using the white part, I've cut them up roughly or so. Half a cup of water. You blend them now. I think it's done, let's have a look. Wow, the aromatic is fantastic. Now this is how it looks like. Let me just show it to you. Okay, this will be a paste. We'll be frying this rampart in a while. 20 minutes has passed. Let's have a look. To know whether the sweet potatoes are ready, just use a chopstick. Poke it through. If it goes down easily, that means it's done already. I shall remove this from heat now. And when they cool down, I will mash this up. I'll be frying the crispy shallots now. Make sure that the oil is hot. Okay, once the oil is hot, as you can see, there's bubble coming out from the bamboo chopstick here. That means the oil is hot enough. At medium to low heat, we will fry this. Don't fry them at a high heat, otherwise you'll burn them very easily. Put them all in. If you don't want to fry anything in your kitchen because it will be a hassle to clean up, there's always ready made available in stores. You can actually buy from them. But of course, it's, it's preferably if you can do it, do it on your own because then you'll know that you're using fresh oil. Now remember to stir it constantly. Don't wait for it to turn dark brown before you take them out. Once it turns a slightly light brown, it's time to take them out because the heat will continue to cook them. And if you wait for it to turn really dark brown and pick it up, you will actually be burned by the time you want to eat them. As you can see, the shallots are turning light brown already. We will scoop them up. Just scoop them up and put them over here. Now it may appear white right now, but it will turn brown in a while. And after this is done, we will fry the tau kwa or firm bean curd. Now I'm going to fry the bean curds or firm bean curds, otherwise known as tau kwa. I've sliced them in half like this. Be Careful because they are a little bit wet. If you are afraid of splattering, you can actually let them dry first. I'm using the same oil that I used to fry the shallots in, so it will be very, very nice. Just fry them until they are golden brown. You need to fry them on both sides, so I'm just going to flip them now. Be careful when you do this, don't splatter the oil onto yourself. I'm frying this at 
medium to low heat. When this is about done, turn the heat up to high so that the oil will be released from the finger. Beautiful. This, this is the color that I want. Of course, if you like it crispier, you can actually wait for it to turn a darker brown before turning it over. But well, I like it with the crispiness on the edge and then the tenderness in the inside. They are done already. I've taken just 3 minutes to do this because my heat is a little bit on the high side. But it's crispy on the outside and I'm sure it will be very tender inside also. So this is how I like my firm pinker to be. Set them aside and cut them into cubes when they are cooled down. Now I'm going to dry fry some mini shrimps. In Hokkien, our dialect we call it Biohe. Okay, micro shrimps. I have just rinsed them in water. You don't have to soak them at all. So inside a pan, you do not have to put any oil because we just want to dry fry this. Just fry them until they are dry and crispy. When you eat mirubus in the hawker center, not really a lot of stores actually put this inside. Traditionally, this is actually part of the mirubus dish actually. So normally when I make mirubus at home, I like to add this as a condiment too. So just fry them until they are dry. Okay, at low heat, remember, we don't want to burn them, we just want to dry them up and make them a little crispy so as to enhance the taste of the dish. Wow, you can start to smell the fragrance coming out from these dried shrimps. This is very different from the dried shrimps that you have outside. As you can see, the body is much slimmer and it's very, very small. Okay, we call this Biohe, micro prawns. Smells really, really good. About done already, just have to fry them, I think, for another 10, 20 seconds, perhaps. These mini shrimps are now dry up already and they are starting to get crispy. So it's time to remove them from heat and just leave them aside. Now I'm going to mash the sweet potatoes up with my food processor. I'm just going to put everything in. Add a little bit of water. I'm adding in half a cup of water. We have a look. Yes, I think it's done. I'll show it to you. So this is done, we go and fry our paste now. We're going to make the gravy for the mirabus. I'm using a deep frying pan, or you can use a wok, it must be deep because we are doing everything in this pan here. Once it's heated up, add in some oil. We're going to fry the spice paste now. At medium heat, add in the paste that we have made just now. We'll fry this for about 20 minutes or so, or until fragrant. Mirabus is a dish that is very popular in Singapore, Malaysia as well as Indonesia. Different part of the world they call it differently. Some might call it Mijawa, maybe in Indonesia or by any other name, but in Singapore it's known as Mirabus. So far I found a few stores in Singapore that's pretty good, the Mirabus. There's two stores in Adam Road Hawker Centre that I really like. It's not too sweet, neither is it too salty and the taste is just nice. It's actually quite a simple dish to make actually you just mix everything together blend them up make some good broth if you don't want to make your own broth or stock you can actually buy ready-made one there's beef broth available as well as chicken broth so it's really up to you beef broth will actually make the taste stronger chicken stock or chicken broth will actually make it more delicate so it really depends on your taste i'm starting to smell the fragrance that's coming out really really fantastic Remember to move them around, you don't want to burn this. The paste is ready. I took a total of approximately 15 minutes or so. I'm just going to add in the sweet potato paste now. Put everything in. I'm also adding in 16 grams of gula melaka. You can use brown sugar or cane sugar if you cannot find gula melaka. And I've used one piece of lemongrass that I bruised. Put them in. Now I'm going to add in one liter of chicken stock first. Slowly mix them up well. If you notice, I did not add in any other seasoning other than the gula melaka. Right, we will try the taste of this when it's done. Just to make sure that it's savory enough and sweet enough to our taste. Make sure it's smoothened out everything into a thick gravy. Right, our mirabus gravy is taking shape now. Make sure you keep stirring them because we don't want it to burn. Now how do you keep warm? The gravy, don't put them on the open stove. Normally what I do is that I actually put them into the rice cooker, just on uh, keep warm mode. And you can have a bowl of hot mirabus any time of the day. We will stir them on medium to low heat. Don't turn the heat up too high, you might burn the gravy. 
Let's just give this a taste to make sure that it's savory and sweet enough for our liking. Mm. Wow. Really good. I'll be adding in half a teaspoon of salt. Mix it up well. And we can boil some yellow noodles and serve this dish. Now I'm going to blend some tau gay first or bean sprout, just a handful of this. Now I let my bean sprout really cooked, so I'm just going to boil them for a little while longer than usual. This is done already, I'll just uh, remove them from heat. Now we are going to cook the noodles. Make sure that the water is boiling before I put the noodles in. Approximately one handful of noodles per adult serving. In Chinese, these noodles are known as su mian. So basically they are cooked already, but we just need to wash off the oil and to heat it up. This will take maybe around 20 to 30 seconds. Don't cook them for too long, otherwise they'll become too mushy. So this is done now. We will just remove this from the heat and drain the water out. After this, we'll put the dish together and we'll have a perfect bowl of mirabus. So our mirabus is done. There's yellow noodles here, bean sprout, micro shrimp or mini shrimp, green chili, crispy shallots, coriander or celery, firm bean curd, as well as egg. I also drizzled a little of ketchup manis over my noodles. So just stir it up a little bit, mix everything in. This will be so good. My One of my favorite dishes actually. Now let's try this now. Mm. Just the way I like it. The fragrance of the spices inside here, the chili, the crispy shallots, the mini shrimps, the tofu, all adds a different dimension to this dish. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.